Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be running you guys through the gun running missions, how the process works, are they similar to what we've seen in the past, and some tips and tricks in which you can use along your way in order to help you out with this whole thing. Now before we get started, big shout out to my friend Knife Guy, he's been featured on the channel before. This is his footage that he actually recorded for me, again I'm at E3, so that is why this is not my own gameplay, but he was awesome enough to record some of these missions and moments, and he actually did a really good job. So I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Definitely be sure to check it out. Uh, he does some really cool stuff over there. But let's talk about the gun running missions. So the two that I'm going to be showing you guys today are the resupply missions and then the mobile operations, the ones that are done with the special vehicles. So these first missions, the resupply ones, are gonna be the ones that ultimately get you the money. So the process of selling the supplies physically gets you the money, but obtaining these supplies is obviously the first step. And it's kind of a hybrid between the CEO crates and the biker stuff, because you have the option to steal supplies or buy them, buy them kind of like the lazy route, they get there when they get there. But the missions for resupplying are kind of fun. So I've seen four different types so far. The first of which had Knife Guy going to a recycling plant in which he had to clear out the entire building and then steal the supplies, which was pretty fun. It's like an invasion of sort, and it actually took us to a pretty cool location that was really only ever used in single player. So that was the one of the first few supply runs and then obviously once he got the supplies he had to bring them back to the bunker so it was basically go from point a to point b and then point b back to point a but in a little bit more of a sophisticated style so that was the first one the second one is you have to go to a supply that is stationary now in knife guy's case this is a rhino tank so he had to take out all the players around the rhino tank or all the npcs and then he had to bring the rhino tank back to the bunker so this was kind of like a go to point a grab a vehicle, get in vehicle and bring vehicle back to the bunker. So that was that right there. And I think that one was pretty fun. Uh, I think the if the vehicles are varied and they're not rhino tanks all the time, that could actually be a whole lot of fun. The third one actually involves breaking up a convoy, which I actually think is pretty cool. So Knife Guy had to go to this bridge right here. He had to wait for a convoy to go by. And when the moment was right, that's when he ended up striking. And again, it's the same process here. You have to go from your bunker to a point. At that certain point, you're asked to do something, and then you're asked to do something to get whatever it is back to the bunker. In this case, it was an insurgent, which I think is pretty cool. And the final one in which he was actually able to go over involved a helicopter. So essentially what happens is he had to take out a helicopter. When the helicopter was destroyed, the supplies ended up falling from the helicopter, and then he had to retrieve it. It was kind of like a snatch and grab sort of mission, which I think is awesome. So I like this one a lot too, and you can kind of see what they did. They had to take out the helicopter. It was over the ocean. Once they took it out, they retrieved the goods and they got it back to the bunker. So it's very, very similar to the biker stuff. Not only in terms of the types of things you're doing, but in the way in which you can go about doing it. You can do this to save money or you can simply spend money and have the items resupplied for you. Now there is a couple more options here. You obviously have the option to research, manage your staff, but it's also very similar. You buy upgrades just like you can buy upgrades for your biker businesses. Uh, you can shut it down if you want for whatever reason. So these missions should feel pretty familiar. There isn't gonna be a whole lot of you know unknown here as far as what you're doing. So I think that that in a way could be pretty cool, but I also hope that it isn't super mundane either. Otherwise it's gonna to get to the point where I'd rather just buy the supplies because it's not worth it to do the same repetitive missions over and over and over again. But that right there is how you get the supplies ready to go for your business in Grand Theft Auto Online as far as the bunkers go. And now we're going to take a look at the first two missions that were actually featured in the gun and now we're going to take a look at the first two missions that are called mobile operations. So the first one is called severe weather patterns. So for this, you have to intercept and take down a air supply line in Blaine County with weaponized dune buggies. So these mobile operations are essentially the exact same thing as the special vehicle missions. They're like mini heist missions that'll probably take you 15 to 20 minutes. And upon unlocking them, you're not only going to get money in RP, but you will get a cheaper price for that vehicle. So for this one, it would be the Dune FAV. And very similarly to the special vehicle missions is they require a certain number of sales or unlocks in order to get them done. 
So for import-export, it was number of sourced cars. For this one, I think it's the amount of sales or something you do. So you do have to do a little bit of work before you can jump into them. But this mission is a lot of fun, especially the first one. You basically just get yourself into an armored dune buggy. You're chasing a cargo bob that's hauling away, you know, cargo that you need. There's Meriwether chasing you. There's cargo bobs that infiltrate your area. And a bunch of titans and buzzards get in the way too. Essentially, your goal is to just wreck Meriwether's day and to have a fun time doing that. And like some of the other missions, there's lots of little objectives in between here, like you have to move from vehicle to vehicle, destroy this, then move on to destroy that. It's a pretty fun mission to get you started, that's for sure. And the dune buggy is awesome. This is gonna be a really cool vehicle to use, especially if you have a pretty competent partner that's sitting in the driver's seat. That machine gun does a ton of damage, and we know from trailers and other screenshots that the MG can actually be upgraded into something like a minigun, which would definitely be a lot more menacing. So I am very excited about this one. This is the first mission right here. It is with the Dune FAV, and it is the first mobile operation mission that you can actually unlock. It's really cool. I, I I had a good time watching this and I'm pretty sure you guys will as well. And one thing I think that's pretty funny and that I've noticed from these missions is that the vehicles we use are almost loners. Like we have to bring them to a drop off location. That makes me laugh every single time. Why we have to bring these vehicles to a drop off location that's always like super far away from your main objective really does make me laugh. So that is pretty cool. And uh, I think this is a really, really fun mission. The Dune FAV is amazing. And Knife Guy's payout was pretty good too. He did this quickly, got $13,000, a little over 2,000 RP. And I'm imagining if Rockstar ever do like a double money in RP for that, that it would be way better. Now we're gonna move on to the second mission right now and this one is called half track bully this requires you to infiltrate an enemy base of ops and limit their power by securing a weaponized half track from their fleet so i believe this takes place at the meriwether docks and it's exactly like it sounds you got to take a boat through the la river and you've got to go to the meriwether docks and they've essentially got this half track dune loader there you kind of have to scout it out with the camera feed and once you get there you basically just have to steal their vehicle on the inside. It's pretty cool. It's like a, a, a rare vehicle heist, which I actually kind of like. And uh, you have to end up hacking the vehicle too. You can't just get in there and go. But it's a really, really fun mission. And it shows off the power of that half-track dune loader. That gun on the back is absolutely insane. It demolishes aircrafts. So this is a really cool vehicle. It's actually a little bit quicker than I thought it was gonna be. I thought that those tank tracks would extremely limit it. Like I'm talking like a small crawl. Now this thing is not fast at all. It's pretty slow, but it's still faster than I thought it was gonna be. I thought this thing was gonna be a stone because of those tank tracks in the back. But ultimately it was a really cool mission. Once again, you had to bring the vehicle to the drop off. I'm not exactly sure what this is. I guess we're delivering it for someone and not necessarily keeping it for ourselves. But that right there is the way the gun running missions are going to work. The only thing I haven't been able to show you guys so far is the selling of the vehicles. So what happens when you turn around and sell the guns and the ammo that you have? We're gonna be doing that a lot later in the week, but I wanted to get this video out to show you guys what it's gonna be like because you guys will probably be doing a whole lot of this over the next couple of days. So let me know in the comment section down below what sort of mission is your favorite in terms of the resupply ones. Do you like blowing up the helicopter in the sky? Do you like stealing the rhino tank? And also, how many of these mobile operation missions have you done and which one do you end up liking the best? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys did go and enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.